Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, you guys are gonna see that I'm a crazy person. In all seriousness, in today's video, I am going to be doing a luxury makeup haul. I do have a number of more high-end products in here as well, but for the most part, there is a lot of luxury makeup items on my channel here. I love to keep it well-rounded and review luxury, high-end, and drugstore makeup products. So today we're going to keep it a little bit more pricey. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, then just keep watching. <laughs> So I may or I may not have mentioned in the past couple of videos that Tom Ford has stolen my heart. I'm very upset about it. I resisted Tom Ford for a very long time. As you guys know, I did go to a cosmetic company store and they were selling Tom Ford for like 50% off. And yes, I know some of those items are like from previous collections or they may be old, but I'm willing to take the risk, honestly, for half the price, whatever. But seriously, shop there at your own risks. But <laughs> here is what I picked up from there. So I picked up some of this stuff at the regular Tom Ford store for full price, and then I picked up some for not full price. So the first thing that I picked up is the Illuminating Primer. I've only had the opportunity to use this once and I really like it. I've been really into glowy bases, especially since I am a dry gal. And this is really beautiful on the skin. It's not too overpowering and not too illuminating, but it is still beautiful and it's very smooth on the skin. So thus far, I really like this. This I got at the cosmetic company store. I also picked up the Sheer Cheek Duo in the shade Lavender Lure. You can still get this on Beautylish and these are so beautiful. They just make your cheek look so healthy when you wear them. They do have decent amounts of pigmentation, not crazy, but a good amount. And when you put it on, it just has this sheen that just makes you look healthy and glowy, but it's not super glowy where you're like, have a highlighted cheek like I do today. Yeah, this is just a beautiful blush duo. Again, I got this at the cosmetic company store. And then I picked up the sheer highlighting duo in the shade Reflex Guilt. You can still get this in the regular Tom Ford line. This is beautiful. This was in my monthly favorites. It's what I'm wearing at the tops of my cheeks right now. Honestly, this just goes on the cheek so smooth. I've been loving this. This is a very, very exceptionally good highlighting formula. It's really good, yes. Really, really good. I also picked up the cream color for eyes in the shade Sphinx. I wasn't going to get it. I didn't want to get it, but it is such a beautiful duo chrome. I haven't touched this yet. So this is like a gold with a pink duo chrome. Super duper unique. Let me swatch it for you guys so you can see how pretty this is. This is going to look just so beautiful all over the eyes. It's super unique. Everything from Tom Ford just looks sophisticated on you and I cannot wait to test this out. This is so beautiful. And here's one I'm very embarrassed about. I used to be super against Tom Ford quads, but here we are. I'm embarrassed. I might have picked up a couple more that I'm not featuring. Let's get into these guys. So the first couple you did see me do a whole video on because these are Tom Ford's newest ones. So we have Body Heat here, which a lot of you guys seem very interested in. Honestly, of the Tom Ford quads, this really isn't my favorite. I do think it's nice, but I just think there's prettier ones in the line. But this one is still really nice. And then I also have Double Indemnity, which is like the perfect smoky eye palette. I have been loving this. This is so beautiful. You should check out my video where I do tutorials using both of these. The smoky eye I created with this one was insane. All right, here's where it gets embarrassing because I have more. I picked up African Violet. This one, I mean, the colors are just spoke to me. This is like bright for Tom Ford and this purple is amazing. This whole quad together is amazing. I like that one. That one is probably like my favorite. And then we have Nude Dip. Again, another one that I could argue is my favorite. It's just so simple. It does not look like anything unique in the quad itself, but oof, on the eyes, it is so pretty. Super like platinum glowy natural sophisticated and then the last one that i have is the classic honeymoon a lot of people love honeymoon uh it's really really gorgeous so i do need to play with those a lot more because but yeah 
I'm a Tom Ford fan now. Okay, moving on. I did purchase this a while ago, and I did mention to some of you guys, this is the Chanel Lace Beiges eyeshadow palette. I just haven't really been into Chanel makeup, and I wanted to try something, and these are really pretty. These are really great everyday neutral colors, and I love a good neutral. I love a good color too, but I just think that these are so functional and appropriate for daytime, and this is a really, really nice palette. I will be honest, I haven't used this as much as I would like before I say too much about it. I just kind of picked a couple colors and I've used them a few times, but I haven't really dove in and thought too much about the product, so I can't say too much on it. It is really nice, and I don't really own anything from Chanel besides a couple of lipsticks, honestly, so... Maybe I need to build on my Chanel collection a little bit more. And then Charlotte Tilbury. I did pick up a couple eyes to mesmerize. I've been liking these. These are very soft on the eye. They don't really go on as crazy as they look. So the first one that I got is Verushka, which is kind of like a gunmetally green gray color. Very unique, very beautiful for an evening out. It, it does kind of sheer out so it's not as intimidating as it looks. But this one is really pretty. It's almost like an army green. I don't know. It's a very, very unique color. And I really like that formula from her. I broke down and got the rose gold. It kind of melted a little bit to the side. But... <sighs> I love a good rose gold, and this is just absolutely stunning. So I am so happy that I picked this one up. And you guys saw these. I did a review on these, but I did get three Gucci lipsticks. I guess Gucci has kind of redone their makeup brands, and they came out with so many different lipsticks. And I mean, this packaging, though. I don't want to talk too much about these because I do have a video on these, but just to show you the colors that I picked up, we have No More Orchids which if you watch my video, you will know this is not as scary as it looks. This is a balm. Uh, and then we have Diana Amber, which again, not as scary as it looks. This is a sheer lip color. And then my favorite, the Painted Veil, which is like the perfect everyday lip. So really have been liking this one in particular. This is the best formula if you ask me. I don't really think the balm is worth the money. And then... The sheer one is nice. I think it's going to be really good for summer. Next up from Bobbi Brown, I picked up a couple of crushed liquid lips. They had a collaboration with two influencers. I didn't know who the influencers were, but I thought these just looked really pretty. They must have had really good marketing or something, but I really liked these colors because they are brownie nudes, and I love a good brown nude, and I just ended up picking up both because the packaging of these are stunning. The shades themselves are stunning. I haven't tried them on yet. These are like two of my newest pickups. But this one is West Coast Bay, which is the deeper shade, kind of a deeper, almost grayy brown. Really pretty. This is going to be really pretty in the fall or, I mean, you can wear it whenever, but. And then East Coast Slay. Now, the influencer with the darker skin tone was wearing this and she looked so stunning in this. I was obsessed with how it looked on her. Obviously, we have very different complexions, but I want it to look like that on me. It's not going to, but I want it to. But uh, yeah, these just look absolutely beautiful. So I haven't tried these yet, but wow. And then from NARS, I talked about the suede palette, which I've been loving, and I broke down and got quartz, slowly but surely picking them all up. I just think this is a beautiful jewel-toned palette. Ooh, they are so pretty. When you swatch this, this is actually like a very unique palette. I don't think it's the most appealing at first glance, but when I kind of really studied it more, I was like, this is really pretty, and I really like the size of the compacts. I just think they're super cute, and I do really like NARS. Even though I've been getting mad at NARS lately, I do really like that. So Originally, I wasn't going to pick this up. Somebody that I love to watch on YouTube here is Ashley Clady, and she a while back talked about this palette. I wanted it so bad, and then I got over it, and then... <laughs> Here I am again. This is the One Palette by Lawless. It is a clean beauty brand. I really should do a video on like clean, cruelty-free makeup. I mean, I like all makeup, but I do think it is good to do your part for the environment, I suppose. And this is just like the perfect palette. This is like the basics palette. Everything you need. You have pinks, you have warms, you have neutrals, you have 
things for smoky eyes. You have different mixes of textures. I haven't put this on my eyes yet. This I kind of picked up on a whim, kind of regretting it, but also not. So I will update you guys on my thoughts on this. But yeah, this is just a great everyday palette. I feel like this color story, so many of you are going to love. So I haven't heard too much about this brand, but I'm very curious about it. So experimental purposes. Next, I did end up picking up the Huda Beauty tan tour i got mine in the shade fair these seem to run pretty dark i know it does blend out but i was very intimidated so i got the fair and i haven't tried it yet uh i've only swatched it so i can't speak on that i like the packaging but it's kind of hard to screw back on and i don't know i'll just have to keep you guys updated i like huda so yeah also i've picked these up at two different sephoras because i can't stop staring at them are the cover fx monochromatic blush jewel i do have mojave mauve which is a more pinky one i don't know if i showed that in a haul or not i don't think i did but i just picked that one up and then i picked up this one warm honey i actually wore warm honey today not what i'm wearing now but earlier today and it's like really pretty for medium skin tones i liked it on myself too but this is great for medium skin tones or deeper skin tones because it's quite pigmented but it really did add a warm flush to my face that was super pretty so i really like that and then this one i haven't tried yet but this is gorgeous i think this one is my favorite this is soft peach and this is more friendly towards my skin tone than the warm honey and it is just so stunning and i love this product i think these are great cover fx did a great job with these so since we're on the topic of me just spending a ton of money uh yesterday i went to, into ulta and the becca and chloe collaboration are on sale for 40 percent off and i love becca's lipstick formula Ooh, it's so good and i really did like the lipsticks that came in that collection but i didn't pick them up at the time because the lipsticks are pricey at full price and the colors weren't super unique but since they were 40 percent off i do really like the colors so i picked up three so the first one that i have here is hot tamale which is kind of like a hot orange red i wore this to day and it was so pretty and then i picked up yours truly which uh which is like a peachy brown nude it has my name written all over it it basically should just be called morgan and cupid's kiss which is a little bit deeper but these are beautiful full lipsticks i mean the colors are so nice and again like i said i've been loving this formula as well so these are 40 percent off i couldn't say no the other one was just like kind of a regular red that one didn't speak to me at all i didn't but the other one's really nice. And then I did pick these up a while ago during the Sephora VIB sale, but I don't think I mentioned these to you guys. I picked up the Nude Sticks Nudies Bloom blushes. So some of you guys were asking me about these. Uh, I really do like them. They are a dewy version of the regular Nude Sticks kind of colors. And I picked up this one is Sweet Peach right here, which is a light pinky peach color and then this one is cherry blossom babe which is much more like bubblegum pinky i do really like these and i like the fresh finish that they give on my skin but the one thing that i do not like about these is i feel like my face is sticky like when i put them on like my cheeks stick to my hands so it kind of settles throughout the day so it's not as sticky i wish it dried down a little bit more but i do actually like these um they blend out nice you do have to give a little bit of extra work but it just looks so pretty on the skin that i do actually like these but they're not perfect they are not um and then i picked up the milk makeup sunshine skin tint i really like milk products and i wanted to try this since summer is on its way i've used this once and i really like it it's not long wearing at all but dang it makes me dewy like dewy this obviously doesn't provide a ton of coverage it's a skin tint but i've never owned a skin tint before and i really like this uh it's different but i really like it it's nice also kaja came out with some new bento bouncy matte and shimmer eyeshadow trios these little cute things let me show you um i picked up all of the colors that they came out with i originally wasn't gonna get them at all but then i was like but i love them and i couldn't decide which ones i wanted so why not get them all so there will be a review up on these if 
it's not already up. But I don't want to talk about them too much because I'm going to review them. But Chocolate Dahlia is more like neutral. I'm not even going to show you, okay? Because you have to check out my review. But Chocolate Dahlia, we have Hella Azalea, which is like more pinky. And we have Glowing Guava. I really like this one. This is like rosier. And then Poppy Champagne, which this one's brighter. Actually, I need to be reminded of what this looks like because it looks really bright on the side. Look how cute these are. These are amazing. And these have like matte eyeshadows now. So you can create a whole look. These were definitely not something that I needed, but I needed it. Oh, I forgot a couple things. Okay, so I ordered these off of Muse Beauty Pro. They had a Memorial Day sale. It was like 15% off. And I have been following Danessa Myricks on Instagram, and I've just been so mesmerized by her tutorials. So I picked up a couple of color fixes. I do have one, but when I got it, I didn't really know what it was or how to use it. And it's kind of a... I don't even know where it's at, to be honest. So I picked up Blackout. She used it as an eyeliner, and I wanted to try it as an eyeliner. And I don't know, these can be really versatile if they are as good as I hope that they are. So I picked up Blackout, and then the other one that I picked out was Coffee Cake. Because I feel like this would be so beautiful for a monochromatic look. This all over the lid, on the cheeks, and the lips. Love this color, so... I'm excited for these. Hopefully, I love these because she has a bunch of fun colors. Um, last thing. <laughs> I love eyelashes, if you didn't know. And I love Lily lashes. So she came out with like this bridal lash collection. I'm not getting married, but I just, I like sets. So boom, boom, comes with five eyelashes. We have the Wedding Lash, 24 karat, always and forever, prenup, happy wife, happy life. You have a lash applicator and a lash glue, and all of the packaging is white, and the lashes just look really, really pretty. I don't, I don't know how to show you. They're still in plastic, and I'm too scared to open these, but I love a good lash. I love a good lash set. It was one of those times when it was like midnight. I was up with nothing to do, so I spent money. Anyways, that is all I have for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun talking about new makeup things that I picked up. Oh, I love luxury makeup. It just makes me feel so fancy. If you are not subscribed to my channel, hopefully you decide to take the time to subscribe to my channel. I love all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Let me know of any videos that you guys would like to see from me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a great day.